Using just a few nodes, you can create this beautiful long shadow text animation. So let's stay on the Fusion page and bring in a text node first things first. Now let's write our text in the text box and we're also going to change the font as well as the font type. After that, we are going to just bring up the size setting a little bit there. So this is where we're going to create those beautiful colors that you saw earlier. We're going to right click the text box and then select character level styling in the menu. Now let's go to the modifiers tab and then we're going to select each individual letter on the screen. Then come to the shading tab and then change the color to whichever color that you desire. And then we're going to do this just one by one for each individual uh, letter in the word. Uh, and this is how we're going to create that beautiful, uh, colorful shadow that you're going to see later on. So now the next thing we're going to do is to simply bring in a duplicate node. So first things first, we're going to change the number of copies to 500. Now let's change center X to 0 0.5005 and the center Y to 0 0.499. Not a big change by any means, but you're going to see all these copies shoot out like a beautiful shadow. But one thing you will see that is that these shadows are not laying on top of each other uh, correctly. So we're going to click the merge under uh, setting there and that will change it and that's perfect. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is to copy and paste this new text node or this text node here. And then you're gonna get a new text node and then we're gonna connect this back to the duplicate node as a foreground. Now let's go to this new text node here and uh, we're going to uncheck this keyframe uh, here. This will just basically undo all the individual coloring that we did. So you will see that this text is reverted back to its uh, original setting. All right, the next thing we're going to do is to bring in a shadow node. In the shadow node, let's come to the shadow offset Y here and then change it to 0 0.4995 and then let's change the softness setting to 0 0.008. So very minor changes, but this will just give this foreground text a little bit of a dimension. Now, uh, the next thing we're going to do is to bring a transform node and we're going to get started with animation. So first things first, let's come to the pivot setting here and then move it here, move it to uh, towards the bottom right corner of the letter O. So this, as you can see, is going to be like when we change the size setting here is going to be where the text will be anchored towards. So this is exactly how I want it. Now, with that being said, let's keyframe the size setting, uh, bring this down to zero, and then we're going to move over a few frames and then let's bring the size setting back up to one. So now let's go to the spline editor. We're about to change the speed uh, for these two keyframes. So now I'll, uh, this is really up to you guys, but uh, one thing I would like to do here uh, definitely is that for the second keyframe, I'm going to push this up a little bit here. Uh, so what this will allow it to do is that at the end here, it will allow the text to overshoot and then come back down. So I just want to kind of give it a little bit of a flair uh, for this animation. Uh, but you know, again, guys, this is uh, completely up to you. All right, so now let's go back to the duplicate node and we're going to keyframe the center setting here at this point of the video, which is the end of the first part of this animation. So now let's move over a few more frames. We're going to keyframe again. Now let's go back to the first keyframe and then we're going to change center X and Y to 0 0.5. Now let's go to the spline editor here and we're going to change the interpolation between these two keyframes. Now let's close it and let's go back. You guys will see that one glaring issue though at this point is that uh, we still see the color letters in the first part of this animation. So to fix that, let's go back to the original text node and then uh, we're gonna go to the shading tab here. We're going to keyframe the opacity setting uh, at the end of uh, this part of the animation and then let's move back just one frame and then bring down opacity uh, to zero. So now let's go back to the editing page. We're going to let this effect render and you guys will see that now we have created this beautiful long shadow text animation in DaVinci Resolve. All right, guys. So as always, hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.